Well, good evening, everybody. It is day 62 of my carnivore diet. It's been a hell of a week for me personally, and I am actually really proud of myself that I have made it successfully through this week and not gone off the diet, really. It's probably the first time ever that I've really been able to persevere and just get on with some major, major things happening in my life. And that's positive. And I don't know if that's down to me or it's down to the diet and me being older and, I don't know, more stubborn. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But it's been, it's been tough, man. Anybody who's watched any of the older videos um, from this week knows that my father passed away earlier in the week, and that was really tough. And the desire to <clears throat> comfort eat was enormous. And But I was able to get through it with a minimum of disruption to the diet. In fact, it really, I could almost say that, that anything I did eat really wasn't outside of the diet too much. Anyway, if you consider that dairy is allowed. I'm not doing the lion diet. I'm doing a carnivore diet, so some dairy and some cheese and things like that are normally allowed. So I consider that a win. I had my anniversary, so 20 years um, married with my wonderful wife, and we went out to dinner. So that was fraught with danger as well. And that was two days after I found out about my dad. So I had the still had the comfort eating lurking in the back of my mind. And I was out for a celebration and never had to do a celebration meal that I didn't just, even if I was on a diet before, I'd be like, oh, well, screw it. I'm, you know, it's a special night. I'll just eat what I want and go out and eat cheesecake and all sorts of stuff or whatever. But I didn't do that this time. And that was great. Really surprising. It wasn't as tough as I thought it might be. I did have a couple of sips of Prosecco, whatever, but not enough to even really make a difference. I didn't even have, I, it was literally a couple of sips. Anyway, so that was really good. Then on Friday, so that was Tuesday, found out about my dad. Wednesday, just had a slow day. Thursday was anniversary. And then Friday was like the boss battle of going to see a film and not have popcorn. And I managed to do that as well. So all I had was a decaf coffee while I was there. Instead, I didn't eat anything. So I'm feeling pretty proud of myself this week. And it's all pretty much been in month two, really. And um, so I'll talk about that in my monthly review. And, and so I apologize. You might hear some of those topics again. But that was that was a massive, massive win. So, feeling positive, I um, am not weighing myself in March. Now, what I have worked out is, what, I, what my plan was, was to weigh myself, but not look at it, just so that it would log, and then maybe get my wife or something to look at my app. What I've actually discovered today is that's easier said than done. If I actually get on my scale and log it, it basically shows up in so many different places, I almost can't miss it. So what I've decided that I might do is I might do once a week. So I've decided Mondays will, will be, I'll weigh on Monday mornings. I'm not going to weigh this Monday morning because that's only a couple of days. So I'm going to give it all this week and into next week after the weekend. Then I'll weigh myself on Monday mornings and then I'll weigh myself on the last day of the month. So I literally I'm not going to weigh myself at all instead of trying to be super clever because that's just not working. And I also can't trust myself not to look if I know it's written down somewhere. So I'm just not going to do it. And we'll see how I get on. I'm, I'm a little bit more attached to it, the actual act of weighing myself than I maybe want to admit, or maybe, I, maybe I'm a bit more interested in the weight than I want to admit. I mean, I know I mention it all the time, 
But the reason I mention it on here is because I know a lot of people do the diet because they want to lose weight. So I can't just ignore the fact completely and just say, well, I do it for this other thing and I don't talk about the effect because one of the side effects of, of doing an elimination diet is that you lose weight at the same time. So I have to talk about that. And I also have to talk about the the psychological impact that that has. And, and I have done and I will continue to do that and sort of how my clothes fit and how that makes me feel. But I have to find some sort of balance while I do that. <clears throat> so yeah, weekly is what I've decided I'm going to do. So Mondays, but not this Monday, but Monday a week, I'll I'll weigh myself and just check in and see where we are, and I'll do it that way. And if, I mean, I suspect it's actually going to be nice not having to get up in the morning and feel like I have to get straight on the scale and write everything down. So that'll that'll actually be good. Um, the data analyst in me, though, it, it makes me sort of twitchy a little bit because I'd really like to know, because otherwise I'm going to have to assume almost like a linear loss from the start to the finish, because I do keep stats on everything and I have charts and I have everything. So it's going to mess up my my data collection, but um, but I don't know if it's going to help my mental health. And if if mentally it's better not worrying about weighing myself every day then maybe that'll be okay. So we'll see. That's going to be a work in progress, but that's going to be for March. And that's it, I think, for today. Um, yeah. I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to record the February, the month two update. I, um, I'm i going to go to, the, to my office. So I'll probably record it in my office tomorrow. So you'll get a little bit different background again. But... Um, yeah, that'll be the plan for, for that. And then I guess I'll see you tomorrow night as well. But I hope everybody has a good weekend. I hope everybody's on the diet. You're all doing well. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or any questions or you want me to cover anything specific. And I'll try and address it for you. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.